hello and welcome to day three of vlogmas so today is going to be a different one today because i'm going to be taking you with me to the arnos vale christmas market if you watch my channel you'll know that i visit arnos vale cemetery a lot uh it's a, basically a beautiful victorian garden cemetery that is sort of slap bang in the middle of bristol but it doesn't feel like it's in the middle of a city. It's so tranquil and serene and peaceful. And it's one of my favourite places to be. And they hold a Christmas market every year. So I thought that this year I'd actually go. But first, let's do my advent calendar. So today is obviously day three. Let's see what we've got. What have we got today? Ooh. I think he's spiced orange today. Yeah, that's definitely spiced orange. Mmm. So yeah, so that is the first point of business done. Stay tuned as I get ready to head off to Arnosvel and I will see you there. Here we go, walking to Arnosvel now. Weather's not too cold, it's just it's actually quite mild for December, which is quite nice. Yeah, just heading off to Arnosvel now. I'm all bundled up, I think I look pretty cute. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> show you some of the bits that I managed to pick up at the Arnos Vale Cemetery Christmas Fair. One of the little stands that I went to was selling these really cute felt decorations and I picked up this one for five pounds. He's made of felt. He's, look how cute he is. The little tail is so sweet and he's wearing a little scarf. And I also picked up this one for four pounds. He's wearing a little Christmas hat and a collar. It's a pity that there weren't any more spaniel looking ones because I was hoping to try and find a Charlie-esque decoration for the tree this year. But I thought these two were really, really cute. So I picked them up today. I also picked up some treats for Matt. So this is one of his presents. That's why I'm not really showing it to you guys. But I tried some on the stand and it was delicious. So I always get him something slightly edible. One of the stands I went to in the cemetery um, had these really lovely decorations on there. But I felt like I'd already bought some decorations so I couldn't quite justify it. But I saw these, these little earrings. They're essentially they're little bauble earrings. And I saw these and I thought of my snow fairy uniform that I'm going to be having to wear for work in the next week or so. So I picked these up for £4 and they are just so diddy and cute. I love them and I can't wait to wear them. One of my favourite stands that I was at was actually more witchy than I was expecting. 
and it is from the Craft Brew Apothecary. Even the bag and the little ghost on there makes it look a bit more spooky. And I thought that was quite strange. They had these wonderful candles with inside pewter cauldrons and I nearly bought one. But I couldn't quite justify it because I already have a cauldron. So I bought these bath salts instead. They are, this is a bath salt potion. You get two in the pack. And you have sage and lavender for detox and rose and rosemary for love. They're very sweet. And then I love these, these gorgeous little like test tubes, almost. Um, in the first one, the sage and lavender, you've got Epsom salt, dead sea salt, activated charcoal, black Himalayan rock salt, essential oil dried sage and lavender. So this one is going to be lovely for when you're essentially needing a deep cleanse and you're needing to detox yourself mentally. This is going to be really beautiful. It's also going to be relaxing and the activated charcoal is going to be really, really lovely as well. And the other one is very much all about that self-love and slash love spell, really. Uh, so you've got Epsom salt, dry sea salt, pink Himalayan rock salt, coconut powder, which is going to be the much more moisturising element. And you've got dried rose and rosemary and essential oils in there as well. And they that was £6 for the two, which I thought was an absolute bargain. So they're absolutely gorgeous. So I actually decided... I was initially going to buy these for Matt, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep this myself. This is more of a me thing than a Matt thing. Although I have said to him this year, we're not buying each other anything from Lush because I work there, so it makes no sense. So the final thing I have here that I can show you, I bought this from the Arnold's Vale gift shop. gonna unwrap him. I have slow wine. You get slow gin, which are slows are basically like berries that uh, people over here use to make gin and other alcoholic beverages. And I decided that uh, the idea of wine would be very intriguing. Um, it's from a independent winery in the West Country. And obviously the money that I paid for this wine goes towards keeping the Arnosvale Cemetery up and running, which is really lovely as well. So, I, so whilst I'm having a bit of tipple, I can feel like I've done a little bit of good as well, which is always, always nice. So I can't wait to crack into this. I'm not gonna crack into this right off the bat though. I'm gonna save this for Christmas in theory. The last thing I actually bought is actually already on my door so I'm going to take you outside in a second and show you that very quickly. There he is. He's essentially a nice little star with some baby's breath and a couple of other pretty flowers and leaves on there and a bow just to give my door a bit more festive flair. So that is the end of day three of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've liked what you've seen, please like, comment and subscribe. So, and also make sure you've got your notifications switched on so you can see when I have put a new video up on YouTube, including these amazing Vlogmas videos that I am creating this month. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.